Good morning. It's Tuesday, October 22nd, and it's feeling like old times right now. Because on Friday, the Yankees will play the Dodgers in the World Series. And the first game will be on Friday, as I just said, in Los Angeles. So how about that? We haven't had one of these in a long time. Now, I remember in my misguided youth how many times the New York Yankees played the Brooklyn Dodgers in the World Series. And those were exciting times. That was when we had three baseball teams in New York. The Dodgers, the Giants, and the Yankees. And it was great growing up in the Bronx, because where I lived in the Bronx, it was not far from Yankee Stadium. And I could go to the ball game for like a quarter and sit in the bleachers for a double header. They had double headers every Sunday. How about that? And then the polo grounds was right across the bridge from Yankee Stadium. So you could go over to the polo grounds, and I was able to sneak into the polo grounds. That was a kind of dangerous thing, because you had to climb a little bit of a wall there. And then you had to hide up in the bleachers so none of the staff caught you sneaking in. So we could do that. And the sneaking in, we saved the quarter, because that's all it costs to go sit in the bleachers or something. So those were the good, good, good old days. When baseball was played a lot differently than it is now. And baseball players like Joe DiMaggio played. And Ralph Kiner played. And we had Whitey Ford. And Babe Ruth. And Lou Gehrig. Those were ball players. I don't know what we have now. And they didn't strike out. Yogi Berra struck out like 13 times in a whole season. Same thing with Joe DiMaggio. They didn't strike out a lot. So the game was different, and there was no TV until the 50s. You listened to the game on the radio, and that was pretty exciting also. So that was my misguided youth, you know, because it was very exciting to go down, to take a subway ride for a nickel or a dime to get to the stadium, and then to walk across the bridge to the polo grounds if you wanted. I'm smiling as I'm saying this rant, because if I remember all those things. And they go along with playing stickball in the street and playing potsy on the sidewalk. So when you get to think about what the old time games were and how there was a double header every Sunday. Now double headers are unheard of. And daytime baseball has virtually disappeared. Because every time I go to watch a game now, they start at six o'clock in the evening or seven o'clock or eight o'clock. There's not too many day time games anymore. And I don't know how many times people were willing to sit in the bleachers, because the bleachers were the cheap seats. But you were out in the sun, in the blazing sun. Whereas if you had a grandstand seat, you had a little bit of shade, you know. But it cost more money to sit in the grandstand. And then there was one year when I was a little bit older that I was able to have box seats for a whole year because of the company I worked for. And we had those box seats for the stadium, and we offered them to our customers. 
But none of them wanted to go to the games. It wasn't that exciting at that point in time. So that's baseball. Baseball been around for maybe 150 years now. How about that? A sport that has evolved over 150 years. And I remember before the Giants and before the Dodgers raced off to Los Angeles and San Francisco when we had three baseball teams in town. And I had friends who were Giant fans. And I had friends who were Yankee fans. And I had friends who were Dodger fans. And many people became Dodger fans because of Jackie Robinson, the first black ball player. Because if you were a liberal or a leftist leaning, then you became a Dodger fan because they broke the color line. So how about those thoughts about the national pastime? And I'm not sure it's really the national pastime anymore because I think football and basketball have grown to be very, very popular. So I leave you with those good summertime thoughts. And this is our good World Series time thoughts. When in the old days there was a World Series, it was the National League winner and the American League winner, and that was it. Now it's become an event when we have, I don't know how many teams they have competing, 10 or 12 different teams competing to get to the World Series. Now we have a three-game series where teams get eliminated. And then there's a set of five-game series where more teams get eliminated. And then finally, we get down to what we are right now, the World Series, where the last two teams standing over all of those competitive previous series are playing against one another. And we have something that's historic in my mind, the Dodgers versus the Yankees. And I'm a Yankee fan, so I'm rooting for them. And for the Dodger fans out there, I hope it's a good series. And may the best team win. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.